Okay. My mark is right Let's retry that. Okay, so Last of Us 2 has been out for exactly a year to the day that this video is going to be uploaded. So, we're going to be going back and looking at... This is the first, like, real series that I actually completed on my channel. So, kind of a fun fact with this is, uh, when I played it, I accidentally deleted my save file. I was about 20-ish hours in. Accidentally deleted my save file. So then, or, I, I was a little bit more than halfway. Accidentally deleted my save file. Had to go through and redo the whole thing. So I played through this game basically twice now, and uh, we're gonna be taking a look back and seeing if it's you know as good as I remember because I remember it being really really good. So we're gonna see if it's as good. Now something that I don't remember, or at least not this much of it, is there are different rendered modes. Now basically what this means is there are different like kind of graphic overlays. So like this one for example looks kind of like a comic book. This one has some weird red filter. This one is a undead one. This one actually looks pretty cool. And then you have a whole 8-bit watercolor, dungeon, void, pop poster, 1960, cool. And then it obviously just gets into the, you know, different ones of, like, the same style, just, like, different colors and stuff. Same with gameplay modifiers. Now, I remember a couple of these, like the slow motion I remember, the mirror world. Uh, <gasps> I do remember. Can you shut up? dog scared me a lot so I do remember some of these slow motion bullet speed mode it's very interesting what my everything keeps going off that's YouTube infinite ammo I don't remember the infinite ammo the infinite crafting melee listening so basically you can play the game and be overpowered now I'm not gonna turn any of these on um, just because I don't really want to me going back into it I might turn on a couple of the render modes though I might do that can I get a preview no let me just buy it oh that's interesting okay headache I'm not gonna buy the headache the afterlife and the graphic were really the only ones I was kind of interested in we're gonna put on the afterlife one actually the 8-bit one was also another one that I think was kind of interesting Oh, yeah, no, I don't like that. That looks harder than it is. So, now I do remember this. Basically, after you beat the game, you can go through chapters, and you can actually play whole chapters, or you can go through and just do single encounters. Basically, these are, you know, like, these are the introduction levels. You know, these are basically every time you come across enemies of some sort, this right here is where you go. So, I mean, they, the one thing I wish they would have done is they would have differentiated between... You know, like the subway pump station. I remember that was a infected uh, area versus, I think, the school. No, the the Capitol Hill. That was a whole uh, human area. So we're gonna just start it out. I'm more interested in playing against humans, but we're gonna do a little bit of both. So let's go ahead and get into it. So while this is loading in, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty interesting how this game has been out for a year it feels like it's been out for a lot longer but um yeah this one for me it was very good i liked it a lot the story did was okay for the first half and then see the problem with the game was that they did hero and then they did they tried to make abby who was the bad guy seem like a hero too and sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't it doesn't work when you have basically two heroes kind of clashing with each other and you're trying to figure out like what exactly you know who who are you rooting for who are you rooting for that's the big problem with what they tried to do here you don't know who to root for because they both try to like understand their story obviously you're more leaning towards ellie to root for because of the fact that she was with you in the first game she, you know abby killed off joel where it really should just be a hero villain climax ending done this one, they tried to make Abby seem like a hero, and it just didn't work. Okay, we are finally in, and this is the undead. Wow. This is interesting. Now, do you look undead? You don't necessarily look undead. Like, the the one, like, that got me was Joel. Like, when you saw Joel, 
You thought that he was really... Okay, I gotta get the controls back. It's been... I literally haven't played it. Now, my question is, can I take it off? I can. And I can add a different one. Let's see what this one looks like. Ooh. I actually like this better than I thought I would. It's very Walking Dead looking. Yeah, it's very interesting. I like it. Now, I don't remember... If all these render modes were on there, this is what the base game looks like. And it still holds up to this day. Now, I'm playing this on the PS4 Pro. That's what I originally played it on when I recorded it way back when. That's what I'm going to keep, you know, continuously play it on. I'm just to count, just because, I mean, I think it made sense. Now, obviously, I have nothing. <laughs> um, I can make Molotovs. Uh, let me make a Molotov. Alright, and then I got this. I can't make a stun bomb. And then I have a revolver, the pistol, and then a hunting rifle. Cool. Now, I don't know if at this point I can actually make a... Oh, shit. I remember this part. Oh, that's running. How do I... That's... Okay, here we go. This is my... So, we got two enemies up there. Alright, two enemies up there. Or right there. Oh man, this game, oh man, it feels good going back to it, because I remember it being very, very good. Now, like I said, the gameplay, like, like, and this, see, this was the issue. It caused a lot of controversy when it first came out, and the reason why is because people seem to think that the fact that they killed Joel off. Okay, how do I, that's how I still kill. A lot of people seem to think that they killed Joel off as a woman empowerment movement. I don't know if that's the legit reason. I don't believe it is. I believe the real reason why is because they think, you know, Joel had his moment in the first game. You know, granted, yes, it would have been cool to get have him again show up, but it, it's, you know, it is what it is. I can't craft a suppressor, and I really don't feel like alerting everyone to my position. Okay. Oh. Shit. Ah, uh, that didn't go too well. I tried to be stealthy. Clearly it didn't work out too well. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get piped, bitch. I don't remember this part. Oh, shit. I don't remember that. So that was one of the... And then I think, isn't there another one... I think if we go... I don't know. This game... Like, see, what I liked about this was... I don't think so. The fact that it, it wasn't open world, Good. but it wasn't... Like, it was open, Shit. you know? So you literally run to this other environment. You recognize any of them? None. You run to this other environment, like this gas station right here, and there's going to be enemies that show up. Man, this QZ is huge, right? Oh, it's supposed to be like Pretty a massive. QT gas station. That's you think okay. the wolves are spread out all over it? I sure hope not. I might go back and replay this. Now, I don't think I'm going to record it, but I think I'm just going to go back and replay it. Oh, there's an infected in there. Now, something interesting that I didn't know you could do in this game is you can actually grab enemies. I think there's actually... Yep. You can actually grab enemies and use, an, like, a human enemy as, like, cover for if an infected person... Yep, here they are. Tries to come after you. Get down. Shit, he asked you to do to them, though. They're fucking crying. It's rough. Don't notice me. Don't notice. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll oh, God, I forgot how good this game was. I personally loved it. Advice, um, it was the first real YouTube series the that I actually finished. Or it was either this or Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, I was playing both of them at the time. Depends on the scar. And, uh. All right. So good. So good. See, what's interesting to me is how the characters are designed. Like, for example, you kill off one of the dudes, the lady will walk over and go, Oh, God, it's Marvin. Marvin's dead. You know what I mean? Like, they actually have names and stuff like that. Like, they're just not like, oh, You killed my friend. You know what I mean? Oh, man. I love the stealth in this game. I still, it's, it's, oh, it's still shocking to me how this game's been out for a year. Very shocking to me how it's been out for a year. Oh, man. So, oh, I can't go that way. Okay. 
It's been a minute since I've played it. I don't remember. Like, I remember going to the gas station, working on my workbench, or working on my weapons from the workbench, and then all of a sudden, this whole group of guys showed up. Man. So the game, like, everyone... And then, what, finishing my other point, I didn't finish it, but... Due to the fact that, like, everyone hated it, and then people just started jumping on it, for whatever reason... Um, literally, people would give it a bad review on Metacritic, and they would just, they wouldn't have any fair points. You know, some people would say, now granted, I guess you could use the point of the story was not that good. But I wouldn't say it sucked. I mean, a lot of people would say it was absolute dog shit. Was it as good as the first one? No. Not at all. Not, a, not at all as good as the first game story. But it wasn't, like, completely trash. Like, it's... Like, if I wanted to, I, or I'm thinking about going back, playing it through, and I totally would. Alan! So yeah, see, look at that. Alan? Question I'll go mark? See what's up. Go. I'll watch your back. Exactly. See? The AI is very, I think, it has its moments of straight dumbassery. But overall... Someone's out there! Everyone, fan out. Let's go! Like, it has... Someone's here. Yeah, it has its moments of straight up dumbassery. But overall, the, the AI is very intelligent in this game. And there's like... Got anything? Shit. Uh, uh, that guy right there! Easy! Take it easy! Uh, oh shit. Got... Ah! And see the infected are coming out. Now, are they going to come straight to me or are they going to... Yeah, see, look, they're attacking. Which I, don't, I may have done this once or twice when I first played it. I don't really remember, like, what exactly I've done in the first... When I first played it. But the gameplay is stellar. Love it. And then my workbench. I can go work on it now. Oh, no, I can't because there's enemies nearby. Yep, see, look, there's someone running. It just adds life. Oh, no, that's a, that's a, uh, infected. Whoops. And the clickers, god, the clickers suck. Oh, my god. Hopefully they didn't know that. They didn't see that. Okay, okay. I forgot the infected are genuinely terrifying. Ah. Oh man, that noise, that that was. Maybe we can get out through there. That's true. We can. We can just ignore them. Yeah, let's just go this way. Let's just ignore them. Yeah, see the infected came through this building right here. And see how I like how it's designed, you know. It's an open game, but it's not like where are there still enemies in here? No, I think they all ran out. So it kind of keeps the game going. You know, there's no... Well, there's some loading screens, but, like, overall, there's cutscene, then it cuts, and then you're in a different area. But there's nothing, like, in between to stop it. Oh, and then there's a lot of collectibles and stuff. They even tell you all the collectibles, like, when you're trying to figure out, you know, which one you want to play. Uh, how do we get out of here? Do we have to go back the way... That's kind of stupid. Oh, no. We can go through here. No, we can't. Well, we can't go through here. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, I think there's a couple different encounters with humans. I think there's some up here. The game still looks so... This is on the PS4 Pro. I bought the Last of Us Limited Edition PS4 Pro, especially designed for the game. So that's what this is. And it looks really good still. You know. I, I need to play this on my PS5, but I haven't yet. I might I might install it and go through it again. Because... Oh, man. Gotta get in there. So good. Let's look around. So good. Oh. Oh. Shotgun ammo. Or... Is that a shotgun? Nope. That's shot. Oh. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we can switch it for different. Yeah, I forgot about that. 
We can switch it for different stuff and things. Oh, yeah. So that was Last of Us Part 2. It, it, it's kind of a quick video. I didn't mean for this to like go back into the game and do another walkthrough, let's play, you know, whatever you want to call it. But this is kind of me showing off like, you know, it's a year later. Does the game still act and, you know, is it still how it was a year later? Which for me personally, Last of Us a year ago when I was playing it on YouTube, very, very good. It was a very good game. It, you know, the story, it had its moments which i didn't like pretty much playing as abby they they did that way too long you know it should have been you play as abby for maybe an hour and you're done no you play as abby for like four or five hours in the game i'm like Ugh. and the story i think my cat's knocking over stuff either that or it's a ghost anyway the story was really good you know i like like abby did have good motivation you know, Joel killed her dad in, at the end of this first one, and that was the motivation. That was a good motivation. If they would have just kept her there, they don't try to sympathize the villain, it would have been a much better and coherent story. But they didn't, and it ended up well, the way it did. And I think a lot of people did give it hate that wasn't needed. You know, a lot of people were literally, like, there's channels out there. I don't know if they're still going now. I doubt it, but... There are channels out there that literally dedicate their whole YouTube towards hating this game. And it doesn't deserve that. There are things that aren't necessarily good of the game. You know, like for example, um, mostly just the story really. Like the gameplay, top notch, the environments, graphics, everything like that, really, really good. Um, the AI was pretty good. You know, it's very interesting how they all have names. Um, you know, all that stuff was good. It was mostly just that story, and it wasn't a bad story, you know? While it may have not necessarily been good, or like top, you know, god tier, it wasn't like the first game's story, that's for sure. It was still good. Now, the one thing that does irk me very, very much is the fact that they killed off Joel. I understand why, you know, they wanted to make Ellie a main character. It was it for the reasons that people were saying it's a you know saying that men aren't any you know men aren't shit women are a power i don't think it's for that i think they just wanted to they wanted to give ellie a chance to shine you know they wanted to let her be her own character and let her you know be the main character and also joel was a lot older than ellie was ellie is like in her 20s in this game when in the first game she was in her teens so they wanted to, you know, make her a main character, and I do appreciate that because if they do make, you know, a third one, maybe even a fourth one, obviously you can't have this 40-year-old man be the main character of all the games. You just can't. Now, even though they took him away from the main story, I did like how there were flashbacks and he was in there. I thought that was pretty cool. You know, it, it makes you, you know, he's in the game. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, I mean, overall, I think the story was the biggest issue of the game. So that's going to do it for this one. This is Last of Us a year later. Still very good when it comes to gameplay. Um, when it comes to the story, you know, I, I did, you know, kind of... I didn't really watch the whole story or play through the whole story again, you know, before this video. But I, I, I rewatched, or not rewatched, but I saw, like, the major plot points of the game and... Yeah, it some of it was pretty trash, you know, some of the plot story or the stories were like not that good. But overall, it, it's not enough to garner so much hate that it did. You know, I'm just going to leave it at that. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. I do appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.